General Kenneth S. Wilsbach, the head of U.S. Pacific Air Forces, has offered his insights into China's growing fleet of J-20 stealth fighters. The general says that the J-20 does not constitute a dominating aircraft at this point compared to the capabilities of the U.S. and those of its allies and partners. Wilsbach's remarks were given at the 2023 iteration of the Air and Space Forces Association's annual symposium. He stated, I don't think it's a dominating aircraft at this point compared to what we have in terms of stealthy F-22 Raptors and F-35 Lightnings. They've done some good copying. Pretty much most of the technology from that airplane, the J-20, was stolen from the U.S. The statement is broadly in line with his remarks made last year. At that event, the general noted how J-20s weren't anything to lose a lot of sleep over, but that certainly we're watching them, China, closely and seeing how they operate them. This assessment was supported by Air Force Chief of Staff General Charles Q. Brown, who was also speaking at the 2022 symposium. Well, I'm like General Wilsbach. The J-20 is not something to lose a lot of sleep over, but I'm going to pay attention to it. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the head of the U.S. Pacific Air Forces thinks that the Chinese J-20 is not a dominating aircraft. Let's get started. The Chengdu J-20 is a single-seat, twin-jet, all-weather, stealthy, fifth-generation fighter aircraft developed by China's Chengdu Aerospace Corporation for the People's Liberation Army Air Force PLAAF. J-20 is designed to be an air superiority fighter with precision strike capability and is the only operational stealth fighter that China has. While the exact number of these jets that have been produced to date is unclear, estimates generally range from 120 to 180 examples, including test jets. As pointed out by General Wilsbach, the J-20 has been developed using stolen tech. Over the years, China has persistently targeted the U.S. with sophisticated cyber attacks. China obtained more than 50 terabytes of data from U.S. defense and government networks notably the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter's stealth, radar, and engine secrets through cyber espionage. The NSA estimated that the Chinese had conducted more than 30,000 cyber attacks as part of the massive defense industrial espionage and that more than 500 attacks were significant intrusions in the Department of Defense DoD, systems. More than 1,600 network computers were penetrated and at least 60,000 user accounts were compromised by Chinese cyber spying. In all, the NSA concluded that the Chinese compromised key components of the F-35. For example, the design details of AN-APG-81, active electronically scanned array radar for the F-35, have been stolen. Importantly, critical aspects of the F-35's stealth capability moved to the Chinese hand. The Chinese stole data on the method used by the turbine to cool gases emitted by the F-35's engine, along with leading and trailing edge engine treatments and engine heat reduction data, all key elements of its stealth design. General Wilsbach expressed unwavering confidence that the capabilities of U.S. aircraft, in conjunction with those of allies and partners, could effectively address any potential threat posed by J-20s. He noted, What I will tell you is, if you compare just aircraft to aircraft, you'll take the training that our people, U.S. Air Force, get. Interoperability with U.S. allies and partners, the Chinese are probably still at a pretty big disadvantage because of the way we train, especially with our Korean allies and partners. He stated, for the Chinese, a fight that would be China versus the U.S., that makes their math pretty easy. But if you make it China versus the U.S. plus the other countries, their math gets pretty hard to do. When I think about some of the recent exercises that we've done together with our allies and partners like Talisman Sabre and Northern Edge and Valiant Shield earlier, you know there's some extremely high-end exercises that are happening. 
In the past, when we've done some of those large coalition type exercises, the level of complexity is reduced so that everyone can participate. We are not doing that. We're making it a high end. If you want to play, you show up and you execute. He added, and so I've used the example of last year in exercise pitch black, we had almost 20 nations participating in a nighttime high end surface to air missile takedown. It was super complex and everybody that was playing, which may surprise some of you, some of the nations that were playing in the exercise, but it was really well done and well executed. And we're seeing that exercise after exercise. Wilsbach was asked about the potential threat J-20s could pose for Taiwanese forces. For Wilsbach, the Chinese threat against Taiwan shouldn't be seen with a limited outlook. He noted, they, Taiwan, have to have systems to be able to prevent the J-20. By the way, the J-20 is limited, in my view, to Taiwan. What is a major threat is the other aircraft that can come in and drop, draw their weapons on Taiwan, you know, like their H-6 bombers, and then not to mention all the ballistic missiles and cruise missiles. So, you know, if I was Taiwan, I wouldn't be overly concerned with the J-20 at this point. They need to be concerned about it, but there's a lot of other things that they also need to defend themselves against to be that tough target we spoke about earlier. J-20 has several issues that include suspect stealth capabilities, as well as engine issues, and many experts don't consider it to be a true fifth-generation fighter. The U.S. already has proper fifth-generation fighters like F-35 and F-22 in good numbers. The U.S. is also developing sixth-generation capabilities. Currently, the Air Force is advancing diverse air combat capabilities within the framework of Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD. This encompasses the development of a crewed sixth generation combat aircraft, multiple tiers of uncrewed platforms, alongside the creation of new sensors, weapons, and battle management systems. The fourth generation fighters are also receiving crucial updates that enhance their compact effectiveness. It's clear that the U.S., along with its allies, has an edge, and J-20 will not be able to tilt it in China's favor. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.